want the snack, go get it. She want the snack, go get it. She want the spinach, go get it. She want the brick, go get it. She want this Gucci. Hey guys, it's Jay Taylor, and I'm back with another video. As you can see, we got a new look going on today. So today, I'm using the Morphe palette, which is 35M Bad Mode Mood. And if you guys want to see how this turned out, please continue watching this video. Before you continue, please hit that like button, leave a comment below, and tell me how you like this look, and comment what you want to see next or whatever. So without further ado, this highlight though, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey guys, it's Jace Taylor and I'm back with another video. As you can see, I have a new background and the lighting is way better because I got a ring light. Uh, so guys, I actually wanted to take YouTube a lot more serious because I've been posting like many videos on Instagram and stuff and people actually want me to like take YouTube serious and they want to see how I do certain stuff so I was like why not I will do it so actually today in today's video I'm going to be reviewing Morphe's palettes cuz I heard so much good stuff about it but you know I had to see what the fuss was about and get it myself so we have the M35, actually the 35M Boss Mode Palette, and it says Artistry Palette, and I actually got the Stellar Impact 8S Highlight Palette, damn this almost fell out of my hand, so... Oh, it has all the names on like a little plastic, so I don't want it. Oh, the top says Morphe Babe. That's cute. So, these are all the colors that's in it. Like, I'm trying to focus. These are all the colors that's in it. These are actually cute, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna buy you. The other um palette I have is the highlight palette. The top says Morphe Babe too. I mean, it's Morphe, so I guess that's how they have their stuff. Yes, these highlights is amazing, and I'm gonna use it, of course. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing a look with these palettes. So right now, I'm gonna go do my eyebrows off camera, and I will get back to you guys. Hey guys, I'm back, and I got my eyebrows done. All right, so now I'm just gonna prime my eyelids with my NYX my next base and I'm gonna use my Maybelline concealer so I'm also gonna do that off camera and I'll get right back to you guys because all right guys I'm back and I have my eyelids primed and set to apply eyeshadow now we're finally gonna go into the palette so first we're gonna go into the color I have the, the the names of them right here. We're gonna go into the color Peachy Keen or Ken is K E E N. And I'm gonna use my Morphe M411 brush and we're just gonna go and start it off as our base color. Yeah. Yo. It's like every time I put the the, the mirror towards my face, it gets so bright, like see? Alright, we're not gonna Yo. Alright, so yo. <laughs> stop, please. Not bad as a starting color. I like it. So alright, let me see what the next one is called that I'm about to use. Alright, now we're about to go into the color play it cool. Which is this one right here. We're gonna go into play it cool and brighten it, brighten the keep it clean, keep play clean. I don't know what the last one was called, but we're not gonna worry about that. This is not bad. I like the pigment. Yo! 
है Spanish mommy hot tamale. All right, now we're gonna go into the shade FOTD, which is this one right here. And we're gonna try to like brighten out our. Yo, I hate yo. Just all right. I'm getting sad because I'm like the, the camera. We're gonna deepen out. I will say, oh. Mm. All right. It's not that bad. You're about to piss me off. All right. So next we're gonna go into the color red carpet. Red carpet is right here. This is red carpet. I'm gonna use red carpet. So we're gonna go into the color red carpet. We're gonna deepen it out too. Yo! All right, so Right now, I'm gonna go into my Maybelline concealer, and I'm gonna set. I'm gonna cut my crease. I actually took this technique from Kiki Adams when she took. Um, uh, basically, she flattened her brush to make it easier to cut a crease, and I love this technique, and I love the way she did this brush because it actually does work, and you can't go wrong with a crease. I take my time with creases because I don't play. Now that I have cut my crease, I'm just going to pat it out because I know it's going to be a little too wet. I'm going to set the front with, what is this called? I'm going to set the front with Light of the Party. This is, this is the color. This is Light of the Party. And because the, the concealer got on the top of my eyelid with the, when I close my eyes, I'm going to go back into the color and deepen it back out. I'm going to go into Stroke of Luck. Stroke of Luck is literally right here. Go into the end ending of the crease. I don't know why it's so bright. The pigments of this palette is amazing. I'm gonna go in the color Express Yourself. Yes, it says Yourself, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna bring that all the way to the edge of the crease. Right here, to deepen it out. There. Um, now I'm gonna go back into the color FOTD and deepen out the top of the crease that I have already messed up. And I'm gonna bring that in. I'm gonna bring this into the crease. I'm gonna go back into the palette and I'm gonna go into the color Black Magic, which is this right here. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go in black magic and I'm gonna deepen out the edge of the crease and you know just darken it a little. I 
this is really dope like i'm not gonna hold you guys this is really dope and i really like it all right so i'm gonna go into the highlight palette and i'm gonna go into the color galactic which is this one right here i'm gonna use the color galactic and i'm gonna use the shimmery shimmery part to go at the edge of the crease I don't know if you got all right now that i have that uh, done actually my eyelid my eyelid is done i'm just gonna do the other eye off camera and i will get back to you guys uh oh i'm back again with my eyelids done i stacked the m's i don't know what i'm singing you know what's happening like all right guys so this is how it look and you cannot go wrong with these eyelids. Like, Morphe really coming through, you know. So, now I'm just going to pop on some lashes from Violet Voss. These mink lashes. I saw them and I was like, oh, yeah, they're cute. They're cute. So, now I'm just going to pop on these lashes off camera. And once again, y'all, I'll be back. Okay, guys. Now that I have lashes on, I'm going to use my primer. My Revlon Photo Ready Primer. Put this on my face and slay the day away but about this primer it makes your face look very how should i say it makes your face look very like white like pale but that's i don't know why i can't even tell you why but i really love this primer If y'all have any primers that y'all recommend, y'all would recommend, please put it in the comments below. But anyways, so for foundation, I'm gonna be using two different foundations. First, I'm gonna be using my Pro Touch Liquid Foundation by Kiss in the color why the Mocha. Yes, because my my the color of my skin is like literally two different shades. And then I'm gonna be using my Fit Me in the color what's the in the color 355 coconut so we're just gonna work with what we have i'm not gonna do too much that is to the bottom where it's dark as like a contour area i'm gonna apply this to all my apply this to all my dark areas And if you guys have any like cream to get rid of any dark spots, like I have a lot of dark spots. I'm sorry, my camera had cut off because base on the phone. So, like I was saying, if you guys have any like creams to get rid of dark spots, because I have a lot of dark spots. If you guys have any cream to get rid of dark spots, please let me know in the comments below, because that would really be helpful. Od helpful. Now I'm going to use my Fit Me foundation and I'm just going to add that. Oh, whoa. Do you know how, do you see, see how much I put in my hand? I use OD. Now I'm just going to apply this Fit Me foundation to my light spots where I'm highlighting. Actually, where I'm concealing. I'm going to add this to all the light spots. Cause baby, it's giving glow. Guys, foundation is seasonal. Every season, it depends on where your skin go. Where you, it depends on what your skin does. Every skin, every foundation is seasonal. And in the winter time, you gotta change your foundation. Springtime, summertime, you gotta you gotta change your foundation because your skin is gonna change regardless. So now I'm just gonna blend everything out. Hopefully it's blend well. I no doubt that it was gonna blend well because I mean, hey, I use it every day. But I never tried this technique because some of my videos, I see that my skin is way too bright. It's dark. Always bring it to your ears. You don't gotta bring it all around your ears, but bring it to your ears. 
So now I'm just gonna go in with my smaller concealer brush. I said brush. I'm bugging. And I'm just gonna back it to the big one and blend everything out perfect. Not a bad combination. It's really not. And what I do is I take these three lines on the foot. My forehead has to go because in the summertime I used to wear head ties a lot. So it gave me kind of like a tan. A tan. And the lines just stay there. I don't know why. The lines has to go. It has to go. Because it's really bothering me. And a lot of people mention it when I post videos. But what can I really do? What can I do? It's not my fault. So now I'm just going to go into my color, my pro concealer in the color toffee. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sniffing a lot. I think I'm sick. I can't be sick. I can't be sick. So now I'm just going to highlight. I'm not going to use a lot because, like I said, we're not going to go for full coverage. I'm going to highlight these parts. Actually, the parts that's mainly needed to be highlighted. I don't know what I be talking about. I said these parts. I always get under my nose, my chin. I really don't care. I just. <laughs> my forehead. I'm gonna go under the bridge of my nose again. Forehead. I just blend everything out. We don't want it too light. So now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and blend everything out. I bring it all the way here, all the way right here, and I just blend. And then for under my eyes, I use my small beauty blender as you guys see me do already. <laughs> so you guys can know how I do my foundation and stuff, because everybody like I really really like people's support and they have always have questions and they always ask me and you know I'm willing to answer any guys any of you guys questions I don't mind at all like I love you every one of my supporters so now guys I'm just gonna go use my true complexion contour palette as you guys can see I use it 24 7 if you follow me on Instagram you will know I use this, this palette every time I contour sometimes I don't sometimes I use a darker foundation but I use this palette every time I have to contour there's never there's never a time when I don't use this palette unless like I said I use a dark foundation We want to look snatched, honey. We want to look like we've been starving. Yes, I said starving. And I always bring this down to my jawline. Because I don't think too hard about stuff. I just do. I don't think... Some, that's the problem sometimes. I don't think before I do... I don't think before I do stuff. I need to start thinking before I do stuff. Because sometimes when I do something, it's not gonna be pretty at all so now i'm gonna contour my nose i'm just gonna use my morphe m331 brush and contour my nose you just want to look snatched honey <laughs> i love contouring it make me look like I lost weight. Now I'm gonna blend all of this out. Blend it in. Blending does justice. And I, I rudely got interrupted by my camera. It came off again. Blend well because when you don't blend well, when you take pictures, it's always gonna show everything. Like it's not gonna hide anything, it's just gonna show everything. So right now I'm just gonna bake. Well, not really bake because another thing I found out that if foundation has silicone in it, you will get flashback. And baby, I don't want flashback. I want to be 
flash approved. But I'm just gonna bake. I don't use as much because I don't want flashback. I don't got time. I don't use as much. Using this lightly. I'm using this as lightly as possible and I'm using a damped beauty blender. It's not that wet because it actually dried up the whole time it was sitting here. It dried up the whole time it was sitting here. Because I barely used it, so it's not wet. And I'm going to use this smaller, straighter sponge and make your face look snatched. You want to look snatched, baby. Not the one we want to be snatched. I said contour powder right there. My lips is getting so dry, so you know, guys, I'm gonna use my EOS. We don't want dry lips. So as we're doing that, I'm gonna use this skinny brush right here. We don't have a name for it, but you know, I feel like I feel like I should. I feel like I should. I don't know too much about that. I'm gonna go back into the color F O T D. And get my under my my eye under my eyes and but anyways I'm gonna go into this smaller brush right here I'm gonna go back into black magic and I'm gonna use that as an eyeliner cuz you know baby mm -hmm. you already know gonna smoke out the under eyes before anything I always would use actual eyeliner to line my eyes but I, I just decided to use the palette to line my eyes because you know baby so now I'm just gonna use this big fluffy brush right here. I should really name my brush because, yeah. So I'm gonna just gonna take away all the big. Don't get bright on me now. Take away all this big baby. I'm going to go into this blush and bronzer palette. It was a gift from one my aunt's friend Tashana. Well. She was so close to my aunt. They grew up in high school. So that's technically my aunt too. She's been around for a long, long, long time. So I'm just going to go into the this. Focus. We're going to use this blush right here. And we're going to do it on the cheeks. Do it on the cheeks. Do it on the cheeks. Pat. Pat, 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 pat. The thing about me, baby, I like to look like I smile a lot. I, look, I like to look like I smile a lot. So after I finish that, I just blend it all out. I'm just gonna use my NYX. Oh my God, I'm almost done. My matte finish setting spray. All right. <coughs> Ew, what in my mouth? So my Morphe highlight palette, and I told you guys, I told you guys that I was gonna use this highlight. I feel like I'm feeling like we should use trance or big bang. I'm just gonna use trance, which is this one right here. I'm gonna use trance. Nothing too much. We're just gonna use trance. Do you guys see how trance it? Just love it. I love it. Yo, can this camera stop getting a light? And the ring light wanna come off too? What is going on? We back in business. Like, I don't want to stand. Uh, I don't want to stand. Why? Everything just want to come off. And everything just want to play with me today. Like, today is an important day. Yeah! Relax. We just gonna. We just want to shimmy up right here. We just want to shimmy it up. Yes. Trance, come through! Giving me, 
What? Yo! All right, we gonna come a little closer. We gonna fuck. We gonna back. All right, we gonna come a little close. All right, let's go. Oh, all right, y'all. Since my camera wanted to die, actually, my phone. I don't really have a camera, but you know, I just want to sound professional, or whatever. I had to do my highlight off camera, and I actually went back into the color trans, the same color I used in my eyelid. I highlighted my brow. And I went back into the color again and I highlighted the inner corners off camera. As you can see, this highlight is really bomb. I really recommend it. Like, I really like it. But anyways, for the lip, I'm going to go into my LA Color Eyeliner Pencil and lip line my lip. So... I actually love lip lining my lip when I apply lip gloss. Like, you can't go wrong with this. And off camera, I actually did um mascara my under eyelid. I had to. So now I'm just gonna use regular beauty supply store lip gel from the beauty supply store and just do that on my lip. Like, you don't really need much. The cheapest stuff. This is actually a dollar. The cheapest stuff be the best. So. Guys, this is the finishing look. I hope you guys enjoy this highlight is really amazing and these palettes these two palettes right here amazing I really like it I really do I like the eyes is amazing everything on this palette is amazing and I'm gonna be using it in the future for future videos so guys like you cannot go wrong with this palette so like comment and subscribe to this video and please tell me what you guys would like to see next um these morphe palettes you can get it online on morphebrushes.com and i will leave the link in the description in the bottom i don't know why i keep looking over there there's nothing over there but huh like i really like how this look came out like it's amazing the highlight is everything so and oh subscribe Lee, uh, la, 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 la. hit the notification bell so you know when i post and follow my instagram and add my snap i'm always active on my social medias and dm me feel free to dm me and i love you guys bye